a woman stopped by, unannounced, at her son's house. She knocked on the door then immediately walked in. She was shocked to see her daughter-in-law lying on the couch, totally naked. Soft music was playing, and the aroma of perfume filled the room. What are you doing? she asked. I'm waiting for Mike to come home from work, the daughter-in-law answered. But you're naked, the mother-in-law exclaimed. This is my love dress, the daughter-in-law explained. Love dress? But you're naked. Mike loves me and wants me to wear this dress, she explained. It excites him to no end. Every time he sees me in this dress, he instantly becomes romantic. The mother-in-law left. When she got home, she undressed, showered, put on her best perfume, dimmed the lights, put on a romantic CD, and lay on the couch, waiting for her husband to arrive. Finally, her husband came home. He walked in and saw her lying there so provocatively. What are you doing? he asked. This is my love dress, she whispered sensually. Needs ironing. A woman brought a very limp duck into a veterinary surgeon. As she laid her pet on the table, the vet pulled out his stethoscope and listened to the bird's chest. After a moment or two, the vet shook his head and sadly said, I'm sorry your duck, Cuddles, has passed away. The distressed woman wailed. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Your duck is dead, replied the vet. How can you be so sure? she protested. I mean you haven't done any testing on him or anything. He might just be in a coma or something. The vet rolled his eyes, turned around and left the room. He returned a few minutes later with a black Labrador retriever. As the duck's owner looked on in amazement, the dog stood on his hind legs, put his front paws on the examination table and sniffed the duck from top to bottom. He then looked up at the vet with sad eyes and shook his head. The vet patted the dog on the head and took it out of the room. A few minutes later he returned with a cat. The cat jumped on the table and also delicately sniffed the bird from head to foot. The cat sat. Back on its haunches, shook its head, meowed softly and strolled out of the room. The vet looked at the woman and said, I'm sorry, but as I said, this is most definitely, 100% certifiably, a dead duck. The vet turned to his computer terminal, hit a few keys and produced a bill, which he handed to the woman. The duck's owner, still in shock, took the bill. One hundred and fifty dollars, she cried. One hundred and fifty dollars just to tell me my duck is dead. The vet shrugged. I'm sorry. If you had just taken my word for it, the bill would have been twenty dollars, but with the lab report and the CAT scan, it's now one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> A woman decides to pick up a dozen bagels for her co-workers. So she stops by a local bakery on the way to work and there is a huge line. She waits a while, gets up to the front, and tells the man behind the counter, I'd like a dozen bagels please. I'm sorry, but we're out of bagels. The woman says never mind then and proceeds to leave the store. On the way back to her car though she thinks, wait, it's a bakery, they'll make more. So she gets back in the long line and waits and waits, and when she finally gets back up to the front she says, I'd like a dozen bagels please. The man recognizes the lady and says, a little more irritated than before, I'm sorry lady, we're out of bagels. The woman walks away in a bit more of a huff, gets back to her car and actually starts it before deciding that she didn't like that guy's attitude, and if they don't have bagels by the time she gets up to the front of the line again, she's going to complain to the manager. So she walks back, waits in the line, and as soon as she gets back up to the front the guy behind the counter looks at her and says, look, let me see if I can put this in terms you can understand. Can you spell a cat, as in catastrophic? The woman is a little puzzled and says, uh, yeah, C-A-T. Good, now can you spell a dog, a as in a dogmatic? Yes, D-O-G. Great, now can you spell a f as in bagels? Confused, the woman replies, there's no of in bagels. That's right. There's no bagels. <laughs> a woman, tired of being alone, posts a personal ad. 
In the ad, she says she's looking for a man who won't beat her, won't walk out on her, and can please her in bed. A few days later, her doorbell rings. She opens the door and is surprised to find a man on her doorstep with no arms or legs. I'm here about the personal ad, the man says casually. Out of curiosity, more than anything else, she asks the man, do you think you would be a good match for me? Absolutely, he replies. As you can see, I have no arms, so there's no way I could beat you, and I have no legs, so I can never walk out on you. And how do you intend to please me in bed, the woman asks skeptically. How do you think I rang the doorbell? A woman had a 100 children. She didn't have the creativity to give them unique names so she named each of them a number from 1 to 100. The first child was named 1, second was named 2 and so on. But in a tragic accident 99 children died. Only the one named 90 survived. 90 eventually grew up and lived a whole life and even had a few kids of her own. One day when the kids were out playing in the park they found an abandoned puppy. They decided to take it with them. Knowing their mother would not approve of it, they named it this so that they can talk about it in front of their mom, without her knowing. They would say let's take this outside and things like that. One day while the kids weren't paying attention, this ran out of the house and gets hit by a car. This eventually dies but the kids don't tell anyone. No one knew or remembered this. Only 90s kids will remember this. The CIA was recruiting new agents. As a test of commitment they brought a man to a door and gave him a gun. He was told his wife was in the next room and his first test was to go in and shoot his wife. The man was shocked and said he would never shoot his wife for any one dot he was sent home. A second man was brought to the same room and told the same thing as the first. He was very sad because he always wanted to be a CIA gun but there was no way he could shoot his wife. He too was sent home. The third person brought to the room was a housewife. She was told that her husband was in the next room. She was given the gun and told to go in and shoot her husband. She took the gun and went in. Very quickly there was a lot of commotion in the room. A man began screaming and very quickly the housewife came out of the room covered in blood. What happened? they asked her. There were no bullets in the gun so I had to beat him to death white a chair. She said. A housewife takes a lover during the day while her husband is at work. Not aware that nine-year-old son was hiding in the closet. Her husband came home unexpectedly so she hid her lover in the closet. The boy now has company. Boy, dark in here. Man, yes, it is. Boy, I have a baseball. Man, that's nice. Boy, want to buy it? Man, no, thanks. Boy, my dad's outside. Man, okay, how much? Boy, 250 pounds. In the next few weeks, it happens again that the boy and the mom's lover are in the closet together. Boy, dark in here. Man, yes, it is. Boy, I have a baseball glove. Man, that's nice. Boy, want to buy it? Man, no, thanks. Boy, I'll tell. Man, how much? Boy, 750 pounds. Man, fine. A few days later, the father says to the boy, grab your glove. Let's go outside and toss the baseball. The boy says, I can't. I sold them. The father asks, how much did you sell them for? The son says, 1,000 pounds. The father says, that's terrible to overcharge your friends like that. That is way more than those two. Things cost. I'm going to take you to church and make you confess. They go to church and the father alerts the priest and makes the little boy sit in the confession booth. And closes the door. The boy says, dark in here. The priest says, don't start that. Shit. Tea again. <laughs> a housewife buys a parrot from a pet store. At the counter, the cashier warns her that the parrot used to live in a brothel and picked up a lot of the language they used. 
she takes the parrot back to her house and puts him in a cage. The bird looks around and says, new madam, new house. She's a little surprised, but likes it nonetheless. Later, her daughters come home from school. The parrot looks at them and says, new madam, new house, new girls. She's shocked to say the least. But, she likes the bird. After this, her husband, Dave, comes home. As soon as he walks in the door, the parrot looks over and says, Hey, Dave. <laughs> A housewife tells the maid, Callie, you are fired. Why, Miss Lucy? Because your work is getting worse. The little you do is very poorly done. Now, take your money and get out of here. The maid took the money, thanked the housewife and, before going out, took a $10 bill and threw it at the dog. The housewife said, Well, that's what we call daring. Throwing money at my dog. You know, Miss Lucy, I'm doing this because he deserves it. It's been a month since he's been the one doing the dishes. <laughs> this construction worker was laying a full room carpet in this house and upon ending his work he realized his backpack was missing. Checking the area he could notice a lump in the carpet, the size of his backpack. He couldn't believe how unlucky he was and he decided to take a desperate measure. He was not going to destroy the recently placed carpet, and inside his backpack there wasn't anything really valuable. So he starts hammering that lump to the ground. After a few minutes the backpack inside the carpet was flat and unnoticeable. Later that afternoon the housewife gets home and is happy with the placing of the carpet. She goes to the kitchen to write him a check for the job well done and returns to him. Here, the check in your backpack that you left in the kitchen. By the way, have you seen my cat? <laughs> a man walks into a pet store. He tells the attendant that he is chasing something a little different. Everyone has dogs and cats and birds and fish. I want something different. The attendant says, I've got just a thing. Here, we have a talking centipede. Perfect, says the man. That sounds great. I'll take one of those. He gets the centipede home and says, Mr. Centipede, would you like to go down the pub and have a couple of beers? The man gets no response. Maybe he is a little shaken up from the ride home, he thinks. I'll give him ten minutes and ask again. Ten minutes later, the man says, would you like head down the pub for a beer? Again, no response. The man thinks to himself. I'll give him another 15 minutes, and if he doesn't reply, I'm taking him back. 15 minutes later, the man says to the centipede, Mate, do you want to go down the pub for a beer or not? The centipede replies, I'm putting my shoes on, you impatient bastard. <laughs> hey there. I put a lot effort into making these videos so please subscribe for more jokes and stay happy, thank you.